Hey, it's Casey Okupi with the Northwest Comic Show. We're at Rose City Comic Con with Kyle Nelson. How are you doing, Kyle? I'm doing pretty well. I'm feeling awake. <laughs> You're awake. Great. That's convenient. It's improvement. <laughs> yeah. Now, the art of Kyle Nelson. Um, what kind of style? How would you describe your style, basically? Um, my style typically leans more towards like a weird, cartoony, like illustrative style. Um, it's typically like graphic with a little bit of like childhood sort of nostalgia to it, I guess. Graphic with childhood nostalgia. Awesome. Okay. So, um, are there specific characters in your art? Yeah, um, i am recently been workshopping this uh, character named Newton. Um, he's just uh, doing his thing in the apocalypse, just trying to find a grape slushy machine that still works, and that's like his eternal quest. And then um, I've also got a, a book that I finished up about a year ago that's all um, groups of animals based on what the group is actually called. So think like a pack of wolves or a herd of sheep, but it's ones that no one talks about, like a tower of giraffes or a storytelling of ravens. Storytelling of ray a pack of giraffes? Is that what a you said? A tower of giraffes. They're called a tower? Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. So, <laughs> I didn't so either. is it important to you to be educational? It kind of um, went that way along the way. Um, I uh, actually started the project because a friend of mine once told me that um, wombats have square poop. And I like couldn't believe that. And I looked it up and sure enough... Um, wombats have square poop, but then right under that on like this site that I ended up on was a group of wombats is called a wisdom And I was like that's too good not to draw. How did I not know that? And so I started looking up all these different groups and the whole thing kind of snowballed a wisdom, <laughs> yeah. huh? You know all right. Well, that's that's weird. Yeah, I didn't... it's bizarre <laughs> A lot square? of them make sense a lot of them don't <laughs> all right square poop. Is there a whole story behind the slushy guy, like, a, is there going to be like a full comic story? Yeah, I'd like to do a graphic novel at this point, um, at some point, rather. Um, I'm still a student at UO, so I haven't had a ton of time or energy to put into it, but I'm building up this story as I go, and um, I'm trying to develop the character and create a graphic novel at some point, yeah. Okay, and now, is any of this based on you? Like, have you ever been on a quest for a slushy and found it very difficult to find? <laughs> Um, I don't know about a slushy specifically, but I think everybody's just looking for something that they can't, you know, get to. Wow, I like that. Everybody's looking for something. Everybody's looking. What are you looking for? What's the deepness? I'm looking. <laughs> are, are you are you single? I am. Oh, <laughs> yep. The slushy. The slushy is a girl. You f you figured it out. <laughs> yeah, you're so transparent, man. I know. I'm an open book. <laughs> yeah, I was like. This guy's going to be hard to figure out. No, no. He's looking for his eternal slushy. Right. Yep. That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> that's right. He wants some cherry flavor. Okay. Well, thank you for letting us do this interview. Yeah. Thank you for interviewing. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been my pleasure. Great.